Yeah. Uh, all right. So I went on a little rant there. If you th- uh, missed it over the commercial break about um, what I think is a, a heartbreaking circumstance and situation by which the country has to deal with the impeachment of the president. I, I, I've been a don't impeach guy. I've been a don't impeach guy with Clinton. I was a don't impeach guy with Bush. I was even a don't impeach guy with Trump. Because I think impeachment rips the country apart. It's, it's, it's really, really harsh. And only in circumstances when the country is, is having to deal with a circumstance they can't get their heads around in any other fashion do you utilize the removal of a president from office uh, before the fulfillment of the term. It's a really big deal. It's got to happen, though. I, I just, the, the, we just cannot have a president do this. You cannot have a president obstruct justice for whatever reason, especially for pathetic reasons, and then just uh, do nothing about it. You can't let it happen. Really in a quandary. Uh, and Jim from Brooklyn Park has some thoughts about this. Hey, hey Jim, how, how are you thinking about this? Well, I guess I was just thinking that, uh, like you say, it just can't pass. Uh, I'm not concerned about damage to the presidency. I think it's the only way to clean the presidency mm. uh, is to uh, uh, get him out of there. Uh, too much damage is done to the justice system by people walking free for all kinds of horrible things. And uh, it's time to clean house. That's how I feel. Yeah, but and I'll tell you what, I, it just feels to me like if if we're going to even uh, um, feign the fiction that there's three equal branches of government, if we're just going to just pretend that that's the case, the judicial branch, the executive branch, and the legislative branch, if we're just going to pretend that that's the case, even if people say, well, really, we've ended up with sort of a presidency that's bigger than the other two. There's sort of the, it's the big one, then too little, you know, too little small. Uh, other ver- if we're going to just pretend that there is one, then the president of the United States cannot obstruct justice. That's the justice side of the system. It, it, I just don't get it. And for people to take a political angle on this, and all of my friends, and they're, 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 they have an argument to make, the Democrats who do not want impeachment, they have an argument to make, and they should make it. And if they can convince people like me, please do. Let me off the hook here. They could make the, But the people who want to make the argument that, well, it's going to be bad for election in 2020. For the love, do the right thing and let the chips fall where they will. If you're going to tell us that the argument is the reason we're not going to do the right thing is because we want to be your representatives in 2020, that makes no sense. It makes no sense. We're not going to do the right thing so that you'll vote for us. That's the very thing that I'm thinking Trump has to be impeached for, is not doing the right thing so that he would be reelected. It just it just blows my mind. All right. Hey, Randy in St. Cloud, maybe you can talk some sense into me, or maybe you agree. I don't know. But, uh, hey, Randy, how are you thinking about this? Well, I mean, I, I think Trump has done all the damage to the presidency that can be done already, but... Um, and letting him off the hook, I agree, is a big deal. But, like, Matt spent his hour basically talking about mostly this, and you spent a lot of it talking about accountability and all that. At the same time, uh, John Bolton and Pompeo sent war ships over into the vicinity of Iran and saying, oh, boy, you guys better just pull the line. And then we're cr- ramping up a coup in Venezuela. Yeah, that's what you're right. presidents who are in trouble do: is they start wars mm-hmm. because you can't, you can't, you know, get rid of a president during a war. That's just not right. Blah 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 blah. So that's what yep. I think ten times more important. I mean, I gotta tell you, Randy, I think you're right. Very I, I... damaged, you know, but those are people are gonna die. And we're doing it for oil, and it's just insane. And a lot of the Democrats are going along with it. Yeah, boy, I think see, see, I think you're so right, Randy, about this, right? The the level of distraction that an impeachment causes, or that the 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 president's violating the federal law creates in our system, is that as you, as you rightly noted, I spent a whole you know half half of a show talking about this. 
because it's so big you have to deal with it. And then there's also this other stuff you have to do. And this is the overwhelming nature of someone who is so criminally bent as Donald Trump. This is what happens with a lawless president. And I know we have to do all the things. We have to attract our attention and drive our attention toward that the president needs to be impeached. And we need to drive our intention our attention to the fact that there's a potential coup in Venezuela, that they're moving on Iran, that they're going to be ramping up with North Korea, all of these things as well. I couldn't agree more. It, this is the problem. That's why we have to deal with this one, because if you lose the moral ground, you get, and then you just find yourself throwing your hands up in the air and shouting at the radio. It's just, it's, he's really got us in a pickle, so we have to do what we can do. And there's one thing we can do, and that's impeach the president. Hey, Gary, uh, we just have a minute left, but I'd love to get your thoughts. Yeah, we gotta clean up that Supreme Court too, them Republican political hacks, especially those that gave us Citizens United and uh, that judge that McConnell stole from us and Obama. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they got so many of them ha corrupt judges in the lower courts too. It's just really pathetic. The election night, I, I thought, oh man, they got the courts for a generation when that Joker got in there. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, Gary, it's, you know what it feels like? You know, people like, like to talk about what's the, what, What's the first issue? What like like what's the most almost as if issues line up in a single file line? Sort of imagine a single file line like at a uh, you know at a at a coffee shop where everybody stands in line. But I don't think issues that we're facing in our country are lined up in a single file line. I think they're lined up like at the front of a race where they're side by side parallel all ready to go. The 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 starting line is a better metaphor than the single file line. This starting line of issues that we're having to deal with with Trump, it's so why it's unbelievable from the courts to the wars to the incompetency, the blatant incompetency that's just never been seen in our American civic political system before. We don't even have a functioning president or attorney general. It's unbelievable. And then you have to impeach him as well. It's it's just overwhelming. It's like a natural disaster where we've been hit with an earthquake and a tornado and a water event all at the same time. Hey, have a great Monday, everybody. Uh, <laughs> good news from the progressive, the Minnesota progressive repartee here on AM 950, the progressive voice of Minnesota. Hang in there. We're going to get out of this at some point. <laughs> it really went down a dark hole there at the end. But a pretty good show overall. Thanks for watching.